If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hey there everyone, T1 Glistener Elf here. Sorry for exactly no setup, it's uh, I'm hurrying, I'm trying to get the legacy finals in. Begin. I'm just going to tell them to go because it's been so long. Uh, they've been waiting from, on me for a bit. So this is the Epic Storm by Exile. This is his list. I'm going to go through it slowly enough that I can, hopefully, if my internet will allow, show all the cards. And so we're, we're going to miss the very beginning, unfortunately. Hopefully it's just a thought cease or something to begin with. And pause if you need. So I apologize, but I'm just trying to hurry on through this. Two Badlands. I like it. All right. We, we know what Island does. We know what Swamp does. You know, if you're watching this video, you probably know what those do. Hope of Girapir. Girap... Yeah, <laughs> Xantid Swarm if you're not playing green. There we go. And then for Slow Depths, we have two Sylvan Safekeepers. We, we've seen this deck before. It's been on the channel already. Uh, slow Depths showing up in the finals, so the deck has something to it. Three Abrupt Decay. Woo! Woo! I'm liking it. So the main board, Bajookabog, that might just maybe come in handy in this match. Just maybe. I hope. There we go. Then Dark Depths, Forest, Misty, Sajiri Step. Wow. Uh, Swamp, Thespian Stage, <laughs> Urborg, Verdant Catacomb, Wasteland, into Dryad Arbor, Caracas, Pithing Needle, Surgical, Sylvan Safekeeper again, Abrupt Decay again, Assassin's Trophy, Him to Torok, Marsh Casualties, and Liliana the Last Hope. You know how many blue cards you saw in there? A, a decent hand, but, but n not in the not in the depth deck, I meant to say. Alright, so there we go. So I apologize for the delay, just so that we can put this all back together. It is Depths on the bottom. And it is Storm on top. Alright. So there we go. That's, uh, that's all you need to know. Again, pause if you need to check out any of that beforehand. And hopefully we'll have enough light that I won't just slowly fade out of existence. <laughs> we'll see. I uh, have my tea to try to get me through this, but, you know, decaf. So we'll see. We'll see how well that works. Mmm. Mmm. Lemon tea, though. Mmm. My favorite and Evangeline's favorite, too. Okay. What is... Oh, still thinking. Cool. Alright. So we have Vampire Hex Mage. This is the first strike. This is the one that you sack to get rid of all the snow counters off of Dark Depths. And then you get a Dark Depths. Theoretically, a 2-1 First Striker could, I guess, serve as a backup win con, but no, not, not realistically. This is Storm. This is Storm. Alright. Whale. Whale. If you've ever seen, say, like, Goblins vs. Death and Taxes, where Thalia just blocks gob just keeps Goblins from attacking for a while, uh, long enough for it to start doing its thing, I guess Hex Mage could be a bad version of that. Maybe? All right. Uh, anyway, into Mox Diamond, uh, which of course got rid of the Thespian stage, and Swamp. So... You know what? I'm actually going to go back through here and see if Mulligans were taken, as best I can tell. Let's see. Drawn six. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what happened. All right, so we're at seven... And nothing's been played yet. So we're still thinking. Thanks for showing me. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so Pluto Delta. And that's all. Now, knowing that this is a Thoughtseize Him to Torok deck, not playing out the Chrome Mox can hurt. Uh, not duressing can hurt. Uh, so that we're, we're seeing the, the Thoughtseize. But then again, because it's a storm deck, waiting to use Chrome Mox makes sense anyway. So what would you take here? Now this is this is tricky. I don't. Okay. So we're fetching in response. Actually, we're gonna brainstorm to to tuck whatever we don't, uh, whatever we would really like to keep uh, back. So that's fair enough. So notwithstanding the brainstorm, before we get to the brainstorm, uh, you I don't. So you've got the Sylvan safe key or the Sylvan scrying, and you could take duress so that Sylvan scrying stays. I think there's some merit in that, um, especially since you don't see, as best we can tell, or at least before the brainstorm, a wind actually coming out of this. The burning wish is going to make things awfully fun. Uh, while this is resolving, 
Again, we look at the burning sideboard. We have Cabal Therapy, not, not a combo piece. Chain of Vapor, not a combo piece. Hope doesn't uh, get gotten. Echo does not get gotten. There's a Grape Shot. That's a Sorcery, so that's one. Uh, three other Empty the Warrens. Interesting. One Empty the Warren in the main, three in the side. That's the opposite of how you see it in, say, like Belcher, for instance, where it's three in the main, one in the side for Burning Wish. Uh, tendrils as another win con you can seek out. Dark Petition to extend your combo. And good old Pulverize. Now, this one took me back a bit, but then I remembered, oh, wait a minute, I have seen this before. I've actually played this card in Vintage. It's, it makes sense, I guess. We're still resolving Brainstorm, deciding what to put back. Um, okay, so the Burning Wish, yeah, that, that's a given. And then I saw Ponder. Okay, so this is looking awfully similar. <laughs> Alright, and then, yes, revealed to everyone. Alright. Sorting it for us. Very good. Sorting by CMC. 000114. Yeah, good old Empty the Warrens. So, seeing a Thought Seize here, not knowing about Burning Wish being or coming up, I think I still take the Dark Ritual, because Dark Ritual is largely an enabler. Um, but once again, you could make a case for taking Duress to keep your Sylvan Scrying. Um, now, this is a crop rotation, though, so actually, maybe you don't take Duress. I, I didn't recognize the art at first, so I didn't catch that as soon as I should have. Um, but you could leave the Duress, and then either way, you're going to be able to go and get Dark Depths. So I think that that's fair enough, actually. Maybe take the Dark Ritual as the enabler for the rest of this. The Chrome Moxes are a little awkward when you have more than one. They can't imprint themselves. They can't imprint... Uh, other colorless cards because then they won't make mana. Non-artifact, non-land, so you couldn't do it e anyway. But like, say it were an Eldrazi card, uh, you know, you wouldn't make any color out of it. Ta-da! Alright, so we took the Duress. Um, with more experience with the deck, I think... So I, I don't run slow depths. I like depth strategies, but I don't run this kind of deck. Maybe I'm missing something, or maybe it... I don't know. I don't know. It, it doesn't seem right to me, if I'm being honest. Um, hmm. Yeah, you can float one, Mox Diamond, crop rotate the Wasteland, and then get a... I guess... Come on in. Come in, honey. <laughs> Ta-da! We have a special guest with us now. This is... So I'm T1 Glistenralf. This is T1 Stoneforge Mystic. T1 Stoneforge Mystic. Very good. It's good to have you with us, honey. Would you like to uh, sit with me, please? <laughs> Dance a bit first. All right. So ponder, fetch, match made in heaven. Could you... Did you like to see my dance? Well, dance right now the me? camera can't see and I'm recording, Evangeline. I'm recording, you see. Oh, I see. Okay, so now we're doing the uh, crop rotation on the swamp. Interesting. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You know? Mox Diamond to make you black mana anyway. That was funny. So crop rotation. Gee, I wonder what we're getting. We're getting Dark Depths. Yay! Yeah, and that was game one. Now, this is best of five. You're silly. You're silly. <laughs> she has her Echo the Dolphin. Sugar Bear and me. Oh, oh, can you? Oh, yes, I'm showing them. This is Echo the Dolphin. It's totally Echo. And Sugar Bear was my mom's. And now she's getting to play. All right, so we have another game. Now, remember, uh, we're, they're not doing sideboarding yet. This is like Worlds format. <laughs> so you don't do sideboarding until game three. <laughs> she knows the tickle. All right, it, seriously, would you please come over here? Would you uh, please help? Okay, so on the bottom we're seeing that now that's not where you want to see the Sajiri stab. You want to see it in the deck still so that you can crop rotate for it. It doesn't do you a whole lot of good here, although it still can. Uh, with Dark Depths. Now, we don't have Dark Depths. Oh, wait, what? you're shipping him. Okay, okay, so we beat me to that. Beat me to the realization. When you have Stage and me. Sylvan Scrying, and you have Crop Rotation, I think this is more than capable. Plus, you have Bayou, Thoughtseize. 
So I, this is more than keepable. On the other side, we're looking at <laughs> Right of Flame, Right of Flame, Petal. Uh, you can Chrome Mox the Ponder. Uh, there's only one land, so you can do that right away. Infernal Tutor. And uh, depending on what that last card is, you can just go off immediately. Uh, that seems like a, like a decent way to do it. So just doing the math here myself, we play the land. I, I don't know what the next card's going to be, but we play the land, play the pedal, right, right, chrome mox, uh, imprint ponder, crack the pedal for infernal tutor, and then you go and get a storm card. You go and get, uh, in this case, empty the warrens, and you just make, let's see, what, what did I say that was? Uh, pedal, mox, right, right, tutor, Okay, so that's 12 goblins just off that. Now, if this happens to be another land, you can't go off right away because you need to play both your lands for Infernal Tutor. Uh, you need to have no other cards in your hand. And I don't see a way to get rid of that just yet. Um, yeah, that, that seems like a, a fine way to go, I suppose. Uh, so this, you could see a turn one kill, not a turn one kill, but like a turn one empty for 12. Yes? What is it? Which one is the lava cat? <laughs> In uh, MTG Arena, on the side of some of the maps is the lava cat for M20. Uh, Chandra's little lava key. Uh, no lava cats here, unfortunately. Alright, so we're seeing fetch, swamp... Swamp. Oh, wait a minute, that's right, you're on the play, so we're just gonna see them go off right away. Evangeline, this is going to be a fast game. Alright, uh, imprint the ponder. They yep. want the game? We're, they're imprinting the ponder. It can make blue mana now. Petal. So, uh, let's, let's see. Let's see how this, this goes. I <laughs> think this is the optimal play. Alright, there's another right. Red, red, red. Now, Oh, so four red, because they had red, red, spent red, and had red, red, red. Red, 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 So we're uh, popping the pedal and tapping the swamp. Three red. There's our, uh, there's our good friend Infernal Tutor. Rolled a d6 for two. For, for some reason. Just a little misclick, maybe. <laughs> and we get, so I, I called it Empty the Warrens. I mean, it's not the most complicated play when you know the deck, but we're just gonna just casually make 12 goblins <laughs> and see if that's enough. What do you think, Evangeline T1 Stone for Mystic? Do you think that 12 goblins is enough to win this game? <laughs> is that a yes or a no? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for a meh. <laughs> meh. So now that this game is kind of over, uh... Ow! 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 What was that? Ow! 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 Alright, so we're crop rotating. Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not crop rotating. Tickle crunch. Tickle crunch. Tickle crunch. Ow, ow, ow. Don't pull on my hair. That's Tickle not nice. Tickle crunch. You wouldn't like it if I pulled on your hair, would Tickle you? Tickle crunch. No, don't pull on hair. That doesn't Tickle feel good, does crunch. it? Tickle crunch. Does that feel good? Tickle I didn't think crunch. So. Okay, so Tickle on crunch. to game three. Tickle crunch. I hear you. Tickle crunch. <laughs> So, this actually gives me a little bit of time to uh, explain what's going on. What's going on is, there's not going to be a whole lot of sideboarding coming out of the, uh, the test player, because some of these are, of course, wishboard cards, and so you can't really get much out of them. Uh, you are gonna be, now, you may see a different number of Empty the Warrens come in. I guess I would be surprised if that's the case. Um, I think Echoing Truth is a great card to bring in here because without the Jerry step, this is actually going to work. This is actually going to do something. Hey. 
there may be a case for chain of vapor yeah. as well. You leave, uh, it's a, it's an instant actually, so you can't get it with yeah. Burning Wish. What is it, honey? Jay, I love you. Aww. Jay, uh, I love you too, Jay, which is why yeah. I give you big hugs, chair. All right, so Jay, Silver yeah. Safekeeper seems like Jay, you could yeah. see more come in uh, Jay, because yeah. it protects against elements Jay, yeah. like, for example, Echoing Truth or, uh, or Vapor Snack. Not Vapor boo, Snack. Boo, 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 boo. Chain of Vapor. I knew it had Vapor in there somewhere. So I think two Sylvan Safekeeper Jay, makes sense. Um. So yeah, him to Torok yeah. because it's going up against a combo deck. It's just a straight two for one against a deck that would like to have a lot of resources in its hand. <laughs> Pithing Needle is... Uh, I mean, Chromox. And that's about as much as I can see Are coming in. I'm trying to get a moment to talk to the camera, that's why. Um. In the meantime, while the camera's still rolling and we're still waiting on them to finish sideboarding, you know what we're gonna do? What? <laughs> Wrestle! Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that you... <laughs> Am I gonna Wrestle. do one fast? Okay. Wrestle time. I'll do one fast. Okay. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. I don't think she's ready for this. Here we go. Go for it. Oh. Oh, she bur buries her elbow right in my neck. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. One, two. Oh, she's got me back. She's got me back. Oh, she's got to get me. Oh. One, two. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not letting you. I'm not letting you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you back. One. Two, three, 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 three. Okay. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. Let me wrestle this time, please. Let me win this time, please. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> what do we count to? What do we count? We only have to count to three. <laughs> Yes, we do. We count to three when we do this. When we do this. Oh. Don't show me. Don't show you? I know it's going to be a gab of numbers. Oh, I already know my numbers. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> do you do you know your numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine, ten. Keep going. Five, four, <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Not yet. She doesn't know her numbers yet. What comes after 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. Yep, there we 14, go. 14, 14. 13, 14. 16. No, but you missed 15. Okay, so on the on the one hand, we see Bayou, Wasteland, Verdant, Thespian Stage. Ooh, nice duress. Are you ready up, please? Okay, now are you ready to not distract me too much? I do actually need to focus. Okay. Okay. And an Urborg and another Bayou. Meanwhile, on the other side, we see... Good timing there. Ponder, Wright, Chrome Mox, Bloodstained Mire, Brainstorm, Ponder, Scalding Tarn. So this is, I would say, pretty decent. You have a lot of ways to try to sculpt your hand, and if you expect that, I mean, it is slow depths, theoretically, anyway, um, you might have enough time to shape the perfect hand to go off in a couple turns. I would not be surprised if that's the case. When you can go ponder, brainstorm ponder, then, then on turn three you should be pretty well set. <laughs> All Until right. Like that said, we're seeing duress here. A lot of cast in this game. Now, what would you take here? Um, so, Br Ponder and Brainstorm are both wild cards, and the Rite of Flame is not. But the Rite of Flame is only okay on its own. It's much better in multiples. This is actually the reason why I kept this hand. Okay. 
<laughs> well then, yeah, T1 combo hands versus discard spell does not equal good times. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's especially when you're on the draw. Well, exclusively when you're on the draw. Lol. All right, yeah, this is a. I mean, if you're going to get duress, this is a fine time to get duress. Let's get the camera down a bit so it can see you a bit more. <laughs> it can see me. And so on. Alright, Scalding Tarn, fetch. Can you please get if I can see me? No, because you're just going to run away or something. You sit up if you... Okay, fine. Fine. And immediately you start picking your nose. I am raising you well. <laughs> Into an island ponder. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Despian stage, there is a Dark Depths in hand, so, this is the natural Tron of Legacy, I guess. Natural Dark Depths Despian stage is the natural Tron. You're still going. Okay, this is amazing now. That thought sees uh, from exile is gonna look really sad in just a bit if that's what we're doing. All right. So now, to be fair, this this depths deck is a deck that plays pretty well against thought sees after like the first turn or so. There's something that's funny. What's that? <laughs> Don't know. This? Yay! All right. <laughs> So, that said, if we don't hurry up, if we don't do it pretty soon, let's see, we have, just just from what I'm seeing, so I, I assume there's going to be a ponder here. Yeah, definitely thinking. Definitely thinking. Uh, we have Rit Rit, which will once again give us four red. We can Burning Wish. This open Burning Wish, we'll have enough red to get Grape Shot, but obviously that's not going to be enough. This funny. I'm, I'm watching Evangeline I'm commentating. So I think you have to ponder here and try to find something. Whatever you ponder, you have a fetch land up. So this seems like a like an easy one. You ponder, see what you have going on, fetch it away, or fetch away what you don't like, and then try to go off. What's the word? Okay, asking me to rub her back. She's gonna be a masseuse. Dr. Masseuse. Dr. Evangeline. Dr. Evangeline? Mm-hmm. All right, so we're still thinking. I mean, it is the uh, the grand final, <laughs> the finals. It's single elimination in top eight, so it's not grand finals. It's just finals. And it took us, but we got there. We're going to ponder away, see what we got, see what we have. I shouldn't say ponder way. I think ponder way specifically refers to. Yeah, there's no response. Specifically refers to when you use a ponder to just shuffle, basically, like after a brainstorm. Hmm. Okay. Well then. So now we see. Top three cards are revealed. And if you thought it took a while to think about whether we're going to ponder or not. Just wait for this. Now, I guess I guess we could have been seeing the opponent thinking about whether to ponder or to thought seize. That may have been what they're going with. And of course, we know the answer. Um, but this is this is of course the what ends up being the correct play. You can imprint the thought seize, which is otherwise now a useless card, onto the chrome mox. All right. 
So we found another land. We found another land. Oh, um. Okay, I, it may have just been unintentional. It may have just been a slip, but the Bloodstained Mire that was not revealed is the one that was played there. Um, I imagine that was just an, an accident, just something that happened. Um, but yes, it, it should have been the, the one that was revealed that was played instead. It, whatever the case may be. Let's see. Teamer's saying you're at 16. This is uh, Thoughtseize 2 fetches. Yep, fetch, fetch, Thoughtseize. So yeah, 16 life. We got there. We got there. Alright. Um, yeah, the, the thought seeds could have gone better, unfortunately. It means that this Chrome Mox is probably just going to end up being on Storm Count duty. Uh, which is unfortunate, but we have all the colors of mana we're going to need in just a bit. Uh, it was a Gambit, and it's not necessarily a bad Gambit, but when you only see lands, you can't really take anything, unfortunately. Not with thought seeds. That's the wrong discard, the wrong one mana discard spell. I love that we have discard spells in the game that let you take non-basic lands. And I wish that they could see more play. But, alas, probably a, probably a good thing they don't, honestly. There's a side of me that wants to be a troll that actually does that, actually plays those cards. And that side of me, by the way, is also the side that wants to play them in Vintage against Dredge, specifically so I can take their <laughs> I mold until I got to Bizarre Baghdad hand. Ooh. What I'm saying is, I'm being a terrible person. <laughs> Alright, so Depths, obviously on 10. like your foot. <laughs> you like my foot? No. No? Too bad, because my foot can take sugar bear. <laughs> my foot! My hand! My, my hand! My, my. <laughs> sugar right. bear's not happy. I wonder why. Alright, so now or never. Uh, that is an Urborg, so indeed, Urborg, Thespian Sage, Dark Depths, those are the lands to do it with. The, indeed, the lands. Uh, because Dark Depths will actually tap for Black Mana, which will turn on natural Thespian Stage. Oops, sorry. Alright. So you gotta do it now. And you can't. Now, Empty of the Warrens will not gain four. Oh. Oh. I. I. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the deck as well as, as Exile does, but I guess I I would have thought that you could Burning Wish... No, no, because you only get Sorceries with Burning Wish, and they can end of turn put out a uh, Mirror Wedge. Hey, Sugar Bear! Well, stop Bear. playing me with Sugar Bear, please. Okay? Sugar Bear, please. Okay? Okay, but I, I like need to focus, bear. please. I know you like Sugar Bear. That's why you keep reaching your hands out for Sugar Bear. No, no. Same thing with Echo. Same thing with Echo. I swear, we're, we're in a spot where it looks like Slow Depths might actually win Legacy here. And that's pretty cool. They're to tickle you. <laughs> no. I am trying to focus T1 Stoneforge Mystic. T1. Mystic. That's right, that's your name. You got Anyone? it. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. Alright, so let's see. We see two lands and a mox diamond. Okay. But we have crop rotation. Uh, we have Dark Confidant to try to build our way there. And because we have Vampire Hex Mage. Swamp, uh, Mox Diamond, Discard, Wasteland, 
into Vampire Hex Mage, you can crop rotate the swamp away to get Dark Depths, and then Hex Mage can get rid of the Dark Depths itself to make Merit Lage. And that seems pretty foolproof. That seems pretty good. On the other side, we have the Flood is real. We have one, two, three lands. The Lotus Petals at least count for Storm. This Brainstorm is really going to have to do some work, though. This Brainstorm is going to be, I imagine, turn one island, turn two, Brainstorm, fetch, and just hope you get there. Because this Infernal Tutor does not like seeing five trillion lands in hand. That is not where you would like to be. So we're seeing keeps on both sides. All right, round four, fight. Fight. Hey. Hey. Okay, so once again, that, that's exactly what's happening. We're bring out the turn one hex mage. Did we get another hex mage? Jeez. Okay, so if this crop rotation into dark depths into merit lage fails, then lo and behold, we have dark confidant to try to build us into it. Um, oh, okay. So we're already playing out the. <laughs> Alright. I don't know that there's much to be gained, or anything to be gained for that matter, by trying to rotate the swamp and upkeep. Theoretically, it makes your draws a little bit better, but that's not necessarily where you want to be. Well, also, three bobs. Greatness at any cost. And by any cost, I mean this card hasn't seen play a single time this whole set. This whole round. Alright, we're doing an end of turn brainstorm. I believe is what I'm seeing. Is that what I'm seeing? <laughs> Double Burning Wish. Ooh. What is um, that? I got bad news, Bob. That thought sees it's on Crumb Mox duty again. Man, that does not get the job done otherwise. Hmm. Right now. So, this looks, Evangeline, as best I can tell, to be it has passed the turn, and so it looks like it's Exile's turn, it is Teamer's end of turn. They just This is just a convention we use. Uh, for people that don't play on the Untap Open League, this is just how it's done on here. Uh, there's not an EOT in chat. Um, so we're putting one of the Burning Wishes back, and then we're debating about the other card. And this is, this is tricky. Um, so Evangeline, we have we have a spot here. Exile doesn't know it, but Empty the Warrens does not get the job done. It's going to have to be one heck of a grape shot to get the job done. So if you build up enough mana, Infernal Tutor for... Well, I say if you build up enough mana. How? Um... Hmm. An Echoing Truth would have been really nice. An Echoing Truth or a Chain of Vapor at any point in this would have been really, really nice. Oh, it looks like Exile is asking. Oh, no, no. We got there. No response. Um, we see a polar bear riding a dolphin. <laughs> it's funny. It works. All right, putting them back, uh, <laughs> double burning wish back, and fetch. <laughs> oh, oh, ad nauseum! Now that's a card. <laughs> that's a card, folks. Chrome Mox, drop brainstorm. All five. Ad nauseum, the ever living heck out of it. Don't even use this fetch land yet, because you. <laughs> You don't know what you what you'll need to get, but uh, geez, that is a that is a card. That is a card and a half. In they fact, have one. that might be about they fifteen cards in just a minute. They have it. They have it. Yeah, I, I bet they do. So attacking with the hex mage, 
wasn't useless. This is an ad nauseum deck. That is, wow. It, that's a, I thought it was a one of. That's a one of. And that's exactly the card you need in this spot. Sometimes ad nauseum feels bad. Oh, Exile, what are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, so I've seen Ross Merriam in a spot like this. Evangeline, please, I'm trying to talk for a bit, okay? Um, I've seen Ross Merriam in a spot like this. <laughs> where Ross's life total was a lot lower and the... Ow! <laughs> can you please give me just a moment? Ow! I'm sorry, can you please give me just a moment? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll say really quick. I've seen Ross Mer... You cannot be quiet, can you? No. Shushy. Shushy. All right, I'm going to tickle you. All right, and if you do it again, I'm going to tickle you again. That's the way to do it. All right. Now, I've seen Ross Merriman in this spot at a much lower life total where the ad nauseum did not work out. Let's see what's going on here. So, uh, ad nauseum. Those are in hand. Okay. What is going on? Um, are, are these revealed? How are you, what is going on? How, huh? Are these not, oh, okay, so this is his hand, and this is what he's doing here. So, we're seeing, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, do you go on? Don't. You, I think you have to stop. So, right, Lion's Eye Diamond, which instantly turns on the Infernal Tutor. Uh, actually... Holy crap. Holy crap. Um, this, this did not go super well. Let's look at what all you can play from here. You can play the right, you can play the dark ritual, um, but there is a teeny tiny pro- Okay, so we went on, we went on a bit. Yeah, you don't have enough mana to do both, unfortunately. Um, you, you have a land drop, you have the lion's eye, but the lion's eye has to be used with infernal on the stack, or with another spell on the stack. Ooh, ooh! You've already burned two petals. You need a chrome mox. Ponder, you're at two. Oh man, oh man! Are we gonna get there? Are we gonna get there? Do you only have three? Just a moment, Evangeline. This is a really tense spot. Um, I think you have to do it again, don't you? Greatness at any cost, says team. Says the triple dark confidant player. Um. Let's see. Yeah, so once again, we've got right, we have Lion's Eye. So you could theoretically go right, get red, red in the pool. Uh, you, you couldn't actually lion, Lion's Eye because you couldn't get Infernal on the stack first. Ooh, jeez. This is not easy. This is I do not envy you in this spot. God, this is rough. Alright, and so Exile is going to think as long as is necessary, I would imagine. I'm giving you air. I see that. I feel that to try to get it right. I'm only seeing one dark ritual looking for lotus mox. Basically, yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on. No. I, I want to put a joke in like, nah, Exodia. I'm short on mana sources at the current moment. Yeah, um... Yeah, you're T1 Stoneforge Mystic. This is tense. You've got to do it. You have... You don't have a choice, unless I'm missing something, and granted, once again, I'm not the deck's master, but I think that in order to go off here, you need to be able to make red and black mana, you need at least red red from the right here, and black 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 from Dark Ritual. That way you'll be able to play Burning Wish and Infernal Tutor at the very least, and Tentrals and Hands make li makes Lion's Eye useless. That's right, it does actually, so, uh, well, I mean, yes, yes it does, actually. Except for storm counter empty lines. Um. Hmm. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Star Wars. The good ones. Star Wars the good ones? Yep. Comment section! Flame War, go! <laughs> <laughs> I actually, other than Rogue One, I haven't seen any of the Star Wars movies since uh, Disney kicked in. Oh my goodness. Disney. 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 Chickadee Puff. 
Jiggly, 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 j
And it's about, it's a virtual, uh, once we add in the Rite of Flame and the Dark Ritual, it's a virtual four. And then, I don't actually know where we go from here. Uh, you definitely don't have enough for a Tendrils. You need five more spells, counting the, t well, the Tendrils itself would be ten, so that would be the fifth spell. Uh, you need a little bit more. So Infernal Tutor for something else that's... Oh, you could... You could... Wait, wait, wait. Could you... Could you... Dark Ritual... If you can't do it on your own, can you please ask uh, Mama Lynn to help? I'm sorry. You can do it. You did it on your own earlier. Do you need help, though? Okay, good. They'll be more than happy to help you out. I am recording, and also I'm trying to get her used to... I mean, single parent, sometimes you kind of have to be the one in the bathroom with her, but, you know, best I can, trying not to get her used to that. Single parent life. You know, do what you have to do. Um, still might not get there. I have to freaking cantrip, because I can't infernal for anything mana producing. I, I, that's what I was thinking of. So let's say that you uh, Underground Sea, um, Dark Ritual, you have Black 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 in the pool, spend two of it on Infernal for right, that means you have Black left, right, red red, right, red 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 red, so you have four red and black in the pool, uh, four red and black with this hand, Lion's Eye Diamond, so, okay, actually, we had an additional point of storm there. Uh, Lion's Eye Diamond, you're missing a black mana for Tendrils, but you're, you're not done yet anyway. Um, let's see. Yeah, this seems weird, the Burning Wish going on the Chrome Mox. I, I readily admit, I don't... I don't know how that would be right. Although... Oh, you could thought these Kappa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure someone watching this video has thought of a line that I have missed. Wait a minute. So, I, okay, okay, here, here's the thought. I don't know... This isn't a way to win, this is a way to not lose. I don't know how the sideboarding has been done for these two players, but I imagine that some member of Echoing Truth and or Chain of Vapor have come in. Had the Burning Wish... Um... No, it's a, it's a terrible line, actually, now that I think about it. It's, it's bad. You could Grape Shot to force... You could uh, Burning Wish for Grape Shot to force the... Uh, the... Uh, the Vampire Hex Mage to pop. Like, so you could Crop Rotate here, get a Dark Depths, force it to pop, make a Merit Lage, and then return it to hand uh, with a Chain of Vapor. And in order to do that, you have to... Or uh, an Echoing Truth. You have to Lion's Eye Diamond, uh, Tutor on the Stack, discard everything and just get that. That's not a way to win, that's just a way to not lose. Can't even duress first. Yeah, um, I'll pull the trigger. Alright, we, we know that the answer is GG. We know this is GG. Uh, but Exile does not. This is a puzzle. Indeed. I'm gonna be watching this back, trying to think what might have been? Again, if it were me, it's fetch for uh, Badlands, and you imprint Thoughtseize on the Chrome Mox, um, and then, you know, Dark Ritual, Rite of Flame, Lion's Eye Diamond, Tendrils, that's 12. That's not enough. Um, that's not enough. Again, though, we have the... If we did the Dark Ritual first, we can make more mana, but that still doesn't give us enough for Tendril's Black Black. Ooh. All right. If you lose, which we know Exile is going to lose on this, um, then just please show us your next three cards. Your Ponder or your Brainstorm cards. Or had you kept going... Which I certainly understand not continuing going. Two is kind of a magic number. Oh, we're alerting response. Uh-oh, no response. Okay. Okay, we got there. Sort of. Now, 
if this is an infernal tutor, okay, so this I think is different than a line that I had been considering. Four red, black, black, left. Wait, what did I miss here? Oh, okay, lion's eye diamond, that's right. So the lion's eye diamond has been popped. Four red, black, 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 it can get anything. Yeah, already having the tendrils in the yard here. If there were a dark petition, you c it's in the sideboard, it's not in the main board. Um, unless that was changed, but I, since Dark Petition is a sorcery, I strongly suspect it was not. If there were a Dark Petition... Oh no, oh no. If, it, if there were a Dark Petition, you could... Let's see. Black, black. Red, red, red on petitions. So a red, red, left. Make black, black, black. Go and get Grape Shot? Or if there had been another tendrils in the sideboard, then you could do that. Uh, oh, so you go and get Burning Wish off of that. Oh, no, no, no. Now you only have three mana left. And then you, you have to Burning Wish for Grape Shot and fire it off, uh, which is not enough. We are definitely not at enough for a lethal Grape Shot. Uh, sitting there for 10 plus minutes. Um, had the crop rotation the whole time. Yeah... Yeah. Um, it was better from my vantage point. Okay, so had they kept going, we're seeing. Well, this says an egg. This was after the search, so actually it was shuffled anyway. Uh, but this, there's. Okay, so there's chain. There's echoing truth. How did you two sideboard? Man, so uh, that was fun. If you were a betting person, would you bet that Slow Depths, that a Vampire Hex Mage Dark Depths deck, would be the one to win all it, uh, win a, a Legacy event? I don't, I don't think of that as being the. It is a very, very consistent deck. I tend to think of Storm as being a deck that should do away with it. The word slow is actually not doing enough legwork in this matchup, though, apparently. You saw a effectively a turn two. It was a turn three kill. That was pretty decent. Pretty decent. Alright, so we're, we're pulling out sideboard cards here. Him, as expected. That makes good sense. Two him to Torok against, against the combo deck, as we mentioned. Uh, Surgical also could have come in. Let's see. Did we see Surgical show up a bit ago? Uh, abrupt Decay. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no, side outs. Side it, side it out. Okay, there's Surgical. Double Surgical, double him, Abrupt Out. That makes a lot more sense. That makes a whole lot more sense. Uh, so, Surgicals aren't that good, but Decay is so bad. Yeah, you're, you're right. You are indeed correct. I, I don't know if I like... Maybe I like Pithing Needle over Surgical, because you can preemptively name Chrome Monks or Lotus Petal. Uh, it's it's Pithing Needle. No, 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 no. That's Phyrexian Revoker. Phyrexian Revoker hits mana abilities, Jay. Mm! Mm, you know that. Okay, and on the other hand, so we see Life in the Lone coming out, Sylvan Library coming out, and this is a Marsh Casualties. Okay, that's that's fair. There's nothing to give haste or uh, instant damage to the goblins from Empty the Warrens like there is in Charbelcher. Uh, Charbelcher has... I don't remember the name of the card, but it's a one mana deal X damage to an opponent, or target opponent, something like that where X is the number of goblins you control. So you can empty the wards, make all the goblins, and then just fire it away immediately. Or if you don't have enough goblins for lethal, you can swing and then Burning Wish and get it, do it next turn. It's a sorcery. Of course it is. Uh, so that's, that's a thing, but not really here. Um, let's see. 
Took out two additional ponders for two Echoing Truth. When I stopped, I figured I had enough mana to do all the things I needed. Didn't realize that Infernal Tutor couldn't productively get a mana producer. Productively meaning a net gain. So you could get something like, well, if you could get something like a uh, Lotus Petal. But in doing so, you'd be gaining one mana, but losing two mana to do so. So that's a, a minus one. Uh, you're minus on block, I guess. <laughs> Need another mana producer before I hit a tutor, and on top of that, if I hit like a cantrip, I couldn't get Ritz anymore. Yeah, um... I... I like to say you, you maybe should have kept going, but... Then again, I'm also operating from the standpoint of someone who's not an expert in the deck. I was looking for lines and looking for lines and looking for lines. Um, I, I think I said at one point that maybe you stop at two. Two is kind of a magic number because there are enough two drops. You really can't afford to keep going, right? But that's how Ross Merriam lost. He was at one and landed into a two. Uh, his, he was at three life, drew abrupt decay, fetch land, something else that cost two mana, like infernal or something. Basically need to hit one of four zero mana mana producers or ritual before hitting any other one CMC spell. And if I hit a tutor, I was simply dead. Yeah, that's that's indeed worth risking it though. Yeah, there's no way for us to know now what it would have looked like because there was a shuffle with infernal tutor. So we, we can't tell what would have been, unfortunately. Um, I, I, it's it's fair enough to say I am safe. I think I'm safe. I'm stopping. I'm gonna just make 12 goblins or whatever it was and just go with that. That's that's a reasonable line, but then this happened. So given that, maybe you play a little bit riskier, uh, more riskily. When you see the capacity for if they have crop rotation, then I just lose. Um, Maybe you do go after it, maybe. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. It's it's not my deck, it's not my specialty. Um, and also, I, I said stop it too. I kept looking, thinking I may have been missing something. Um, but you don't get to the finals without knowing your deck, and yet Exile didn't know what to do either. So, I don't actually know. Um, the preemptive grape shot is really cute. That's all that is. The, the the grape shot shenanigans is not a way to actually win. It's just cute. And it doesn't actually win you. It definitely doesn't win you. There's Bob on the other side. And there's not an Emrakul to flip into. Alright, all this. That's the deck. Woo! 4 of 32 or death. 4 of 32. When you put it like that, maybe you do keep going? When I stopped, I didn't realize that Infernal Tutor screwed me over by n not having the right colors. Um, 9 of 32 were Salvation. Yeah, when you put it that way, the odds were in... in... It's okay. It's okay. It happens. We make misplays when <laughs> we have a lot of decisions to make like this. This is very much not the easiest deck to play. Not at all. Not even close. So, still, props, kudos for playing a deck like this and making it all the way to the finals. Um, I play Infect. It, it's not the easiest deck either, but it's way easier than this. Way easier than what you're seeing here. Alright. And that's it. That'll do it. Take care, everyone. I will see you all later. Bye-bye!